Okay. Where do I start? Where do I begin to, where do I begin um, in talking about what has happened today? Where do I start? The complete and utter violation of my human rights, of my privacy as a civilian citizen. Where do I begin? Um, let me see. Um, how do I chart this out? Um, I don't really know how to chart this out, but I think what I'm going to, um, I think it's probably impossible to chart out the crimes that were committed today. Um, um, on a very broad level, on a very large scale, crimes are being committed. So I'm just trying to wrap my head around um, I'm trying to wrap my head around this activity and um, trying to find a place to start. I don't know where to start. Um, everything has been bad. Everything has been horrible. Um, everything has been bad um, and horrible. So I think Going to Madison, Wisconsin was really, really important. And um, it was really, really important to do that. Um, this city is run by Milwaukee. Um, is being run by people that don't live here. Um, and so, I'm just thinking about what happened today. I'm thinking about what literally what's happened today. Um, the city's being run by people that don't live here. Um, that don't reside here. Um, people are taking orders or and are giving orders um, from you know an unknown an unknown source. Um, so being in Madison, Wisconsin was really, really important. And it was a really important thing that happened, you know, actually going there. And, um, um, so on every level I'm being followed. 
It doesn't matter where it doesn't matter where I go, I'm being followed. Um, doesn't matter where I go. It doesn't matter where I go. If I'm on the MSOE campus, if I'm at a bar, which is not really that surprising, a bar. If I'm going to like a grocery store or a corner store, um, um, so I think that, um, I can't really, I can't really believe it, actually. Um, I personally don't believe that this is even possible, that a city could be run by people that are not living here. Um, these people don't live here. These people don't live here. Um, so people's minds, are based off of like the media and and social media um, because if you look at my social media I don't have people liking my posts or retweeting my posts or sharing my posts um, so it's a lot to do with what's real and what's not real and so Coming to Milwaukee, I've been here since December. Coming to Milwaukee was very, very important. Um, and Okay, so we have the whole health, you know, the West Grove Clinic, and you have now what is seeming to be this whole health clinical group. You have this DVR kind of stability, uh, retainability thing. Um, there's the Milwaukee Ballet. There's the Milwaukee School of Engineering. Um, there's the food stamps, medical insurance. Um, um, the gyms. The bars. Um, let's see here. The bus, taking the bus, lift, taking taxis. Um, so Renting an apartment, housing, um, definitely something that you can immediately take advantage of when first coming to reside in this place or owning a car, purchasing a car. Those things that was not purchasing a car and getting housing uh, on my own were, weren't priorities. So, um, and I have Barbara Julian for that example. 
no car. The apartment was, it was like no soliciting on the door. Um, no, no, nothing, nothing. So that was an indication of what's beyond pitiful. <clears throat> so a case manager, a counselor, <clears throat> um, I just, it's, it's, a uh, really, it's really bad. It's very, it's very bad. It's, it's very bad. It's very, very bad. So going to Madison, the, the short time that I was there, um, was probably more rewarding than Seattle, uh, more rewarding than where else have I gone? I guess I was in Chicago. I haven't really gone that far. I've been to Kenosha. <clears throat> so being in Madison was probably the most rewarding. Um, because of the, the, um, it's just because I don't really want to go into detail about it. So much so that I have this iPhone. Um, and what a miraculous development. What a miraculous development to go and get this iPhone. Not, not to rush into getting the iPhone with all the horrible things that happened with this um, Android, LG Stylo, um, Metro PC, whatever the fuck it is. Um, to go and get the iPhone. Um, it was really important. So meeting that gentleman that I met in Madison um, was very, very challenging, very, very difficult, um, you know, but I made it, we made it work the best that we could. Um, so, and the other people that I met there in brief time, it was, it was really interesting. It's an interesting kind of like development. Um, I've been in Milwaukee uh, for like four months or whatever. Um, oh my God. Oh my God. It's what I, all I can think to say is oh my God. Um, so, <clears throat> oh my God, horrible, absolutely horrible. Um, so back to, I think I want to talk about developments with the phone. I think it was um, incredible, an incredible development, and quite astonishing, actually. Um, but it's just me charting out, it's me charting out wrongdoing. That's essentially what I'm charting out wrongdoing. So good that it worked out the way that it worked out. Um, horrible. It's very horrible. Totally. Totally horrible. Absolutely. Totally. Absolutely. 
absolutely horrible. Um, totally, absolutely horrible. Um, let's, so let's see. Um, this is a really fucking long problem. This problem is like so long. Like, ugh. I'm so, I'm so sick of it. I'm tired of it. I'm exhausted. So. It's really horrible. Like, it's like really horrible. Um. It's like really horrible. Um, all right, so it was this was a horrible day. Today was a horrible day. So it's incredibly horrible. Today was a horrible, horrible day. Um, wow, it really was atrocious, an atrocious day. Hmm. Yeah, horrible, absolutely horrible.